just so hot out there. Ooh, it it's is still a, summer. Yeah, it certainly is. We've got temperatures that are oh so close to 100 degrees right now in the metro. Heat index values, though, well up into the triple digits. Here's the view from downtown Tulsa looking back to the south. You can see the Arkansas River there. We've got some fair weather cumulus clouds bubbling up in that daytime heating. And currently in Tulsa, we're at 98 degrees, which is our high temperature for the day. We bottomed out at around 79 this morning, so almost had a morning low of around 80 degrees. But it's been fairly hot since we've gotten into August after we finished July on a cool note for a breakdown of the numbers so far to the first part of August and also looking at the difference from a heat advisory to an excessive heat warning. Meteorologist Brandon Woolley is breaking that down. Brandon. That is right, Michael. Of course, we started the month super hot and then we got that break. You can see those blue numbers there indicating below average high temperatures. Now we're back into the thick of things with those heat indices right now across the area. For example, some locations 104, other locations 110, 112. The highest today in Talala and Nowata with that heat index at 113. Just crazy out there. Now the difference between a heat advisory and an excessive heat warning from the National Weather Service, a heat advisory between 105 and 109, and then that excessive heat warning kind of like today, any heat indices 110 or even higher than that. Michael? Yeah, and it may be tough to feel the difference when you start getting up to that level, but the message is the same across the board. So looking at where we have ex uh, excessive heat warnings and heat advisories tomorrow, no matter which one you're in, just make sure you're staying cool, staying hydrated. Listen to what your body is telling you. Your body will give you clues that you're getting overheated. And if you feel like you need a break, take that break. Temperatures tomorrow will be very similar to what we have seen today. Upper 90s getting close to that 100 degree mark. Now I am going to add a chance for a few showers north tomorrow morning. We'll get a look at that graphically in just a second. And then we'll have a chance for a few storms popping up late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. We'll get a look at that as well. And again, those heat index values tomorrow will be well up into the triple digits with highs in the mid to upper 90s. And we might even sneak in a 100 degree reading somewhere across green country tomorrow. Heat index values will taper off a little bit as we go into Saturday and Sunday, but it is still going to be hot for the weekend. That may come with a few storm chances as well, especially each morning through the upcoming weekend. Right now we're quiet here in eastern Oklahoma. You can see a few showers and thunderstorms starting to bubble up here. Parts of Kansas all the way back to near Amarillo, Texas. That's that weak front situated here just to our north and west. And that's what's going to inch a little bit closer to us as we head into tomorrow. So I still think tomorrow morning we'll keep an eye on it. I wouldn't rule out this particular model is not very aggressive with it, but I would not rule out perhaps a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, especially as you go into northern portions of the region tomorrow morning. Bartlesville, you're starting school tomorrow morning. There might be a chance the kids need the umbrella to start things out tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow afternoon, a few more storms will start to bubble up in the daytime heating. A couple of those could be on the strong to severe side, and that front's going to hang out here to our north, so I'm still going to leave a slight chance of a shower storm in the forecast for Friday. So here's a look at tomorrow morning. I think I think the odds are pretty decent, especially to start getting up into southeastern Kansas or along the state line that we could get a little rain tomorrow morning, and then by tomorrow afternoon, we'll bring that higher chance a little farther to the south and into tomorrow evening and again might have a chance to get a couple strong to severe storms out of that with a damaging wind threat and then as we head into Friday still some tricky uh, data to look through here for Friday of how far south that front is going to push but we'll keep that isolated chance of a shower storm in the forecast for Friday and in morning chances through the weekend and a little cooler into next week.